Hey friends, and welcome back to Cleaning Therapy. Today's video is such a fun one because I have three different styles of fall decorating to share with you guys. So I've collected all the different styles that I've done in my three years here on YouTube. We have three different options for you to vote down below which one is your favorite. I can't wait to see what styles you guys resonated with and which ones you liked the best. And I also want to hear how you're decorating this fall. What style are you going with? What colors are you going with? I would love to hear that down below as well. This also would make a wonderful cleaning playlist. It's almost an hour and a half's worth of music and talking and cleaning and decorating. So I hope that you'll put me up on your TV or your iPad or whatever device you like to listen to these on and we can clean our way to calm together. So thank you so much for being here. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it and I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm starting here in the kitchen by just getting these counters cleaned off and I'm using the Mrs. Meyers all purpose spray in the apple cider scent. So I wanted to start with a clean slate here in the kitchen before I get these decorations up. And my theme for this year is going to be more cool toned fall decor. So I'm looking for that kind of bluish sage green and the peachy orange and I don't know, just kind of like a little bit cooler tones um, this year. I've never done that before, so I just wanted to see how it all went together and how it would look in my house. But let me know in the comments what theme you're doing for fall this year and what kind of ideas you have. I would love to hear that. Here on my tiered tray, uh, by the way, this tiered tray is from TJ Maxx. It was really affordable and it's a really nice size. It's not too small and not too large. And again, I'm just going with a little bit more cooler tone greenery here. This lamb's ear from Hobby Lobby is just the perfect shade of cool tone green for my decor this year. I also have some copper accents from the Target Dollar Spot and these white houses are from the Dollar Spot as well. If you're new here today, I just wanted to say thank you so much for clicking on this video to come hang out with me here on the channel. Fall is truly my favorite time of year and it just brings me so much joy and it's even more fun to be able to share it with others. And so having this outlet here on my channel where I can share my passion for seasonal decorating as well as cleaning and decluttering and organizing is just a real fun thing for me. So thank you so much for being here. Please introduce yourself in the comments so that I can get to know you a little better and make sure you hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me. Thank you again so much. So here I got this little cake stand from TJ Maxx for only $5 and it really was the perfect cool tone bluish green. This is a white pumpkin candle that I got from Bath and Body Works. I just don't have the label on it. And then I'm just going to add another little pumpkin here. I get all my pumpkins from Hobby Lobby. I'm adding these stems into a white pitcher. I just think they're such a beautiful shade of, I don't know, like a rust color maybe, but that is just one of the colors that I wanted to add in this year. And it kind of reminds me of my shirt, but having those darker tones to kind of complement the lighter, cooler tones, I think just adds a really nice contrast. So I'll be adding that color in from time to time as well.
these pumpkins I have had so long. I think I've had them about 15 or 16 years. And I just remember my daughter playing with them when she was little and she would carry them all over the house. So I wanted to give them a little bit of a different spin this year and just kind of add some lamb's ear to the handles. And I think it came out kind of cute and it brought that cooler tone in and also gave them a little bit different look this year. So the kitchen is all done now and I love the way that it turned out and here my dining room is actually connected to my kitchen so I wanted to bring some of those colors into the dining room to tie everything together. So I have this little white cake stand from TJ Maxx and I'm just going to kind of load it to the max with pumpkins. I ended up adding some pine cones in there as well. It was definitely a balancing act because these guys just want to roll around and I was definitely overfilling it but in the end I really liked the way it came out. on the other side of the room I'll get this mirror clean this is a relatively new mirror that I picked up at Target and I really like the way it looks over here above the server so I'm gonna keep this pretty simple actually because this server is right next to my fireplace and I kind of wanted to keep the fireplace the main focal point for this room so I'm gonna keep my decor really simple over here and just add this aluminum and wood cake stand. I think this was on clearance at Hobby Lobby or TJ Maxx from a couple of years ago. And then I have this darker rust colored candle and a little candle wreath. And I think that's a really nice warm addition to that server. Here on the mantle, I do have this comfy cozy together picture that I really like and it was kind of a cool find this year because I knew I wanted a black framed piece of art for my mantle but I really couldn't find anything um, Etsy was just too expensive and I was just on the hunt. I actually found this in the spring shop at Hobby Lobby. So it was on clearance and it was a steal. I mean, I think I paid less than $20 for this. So I thought it reminded me of fall and it was just such a great addition here. I'm also replacing my candlesticks from white to orange and then I'll work on the middle of the mantle and do sort of a cascading pumpkin theme. Now I'm just gonna add a couple more pumpkins over to the right, just to kind of tie the theme in over to the right and fill in the candlestick area just a bit.
here on the hearth I have this cute apple basket or bushel basket I'm not sure what to call it but they're from Hobby Lobby and they're only two dollars so if you think that's a cute look for fall then go over and get yourself one they are so cute and so affordable so I just put a pillow in there and another pumpkin that next to it is our blessing basket it's getting really really full and now I'm moving over to these shelves and getting these cleaned off and adding just a few pumpkins and fall touches on here. Here next to the chair, I'm just gonna add a basket with this cute quilted blanket. I wanna say that the blanket is from TJ Maxx and the basket is probably from Target. And then I have this cute little thankful pillow from Kirkland's. And then I added this gray and white plaid pillow from Kirkland's as well and another pumpkin. Moving on into the family room, I'm just gonna fluff up these pillows real quick. They are already neutral, so I'm gonna go ahead and leave them. I have gray pillows and then tan buffalo check pillows. So I think those will work really well for fall. And then I also picked up this boho pillow that's in the corner. I think that one's from TJ Maxx. And then I have this plaid throw that is from Kirkland's. And I really like the colors in there. The fall sweet fall pillow is also from Kirkland's and it really just goes with the colors that I'm trying to go for this year. I'll just get my coffee table all cleaned off and then I'm adding this round wicker basket from Target. The florals are from Kirkland's and then this candle is the pumpkin pie candle from Magnolia and it really does smell like there's a pumpkin pie baking in the kitchen. Down here under the TV is always a bit of a challenge for me. There's not much room here to decorate, but I'll usually just put out a garland. So this one is from Michaels from probably over 10 years ago at this point, but it's still in really good condition, so I like to keep using it. And then I'm just putting some pumpkin picks in here from Hobby Lobby just to kind of give it a little bit more interest and contrast. So this is all that's left of the fall decor that I had on my dining room table. So I'm just moving it over to the side so that I can decorate on here. And I plan on keeping it pretty simple over here. I think I'll just pull out my runner and get that on. And then I'll just do a simple white pitcher with some florals. And then I ended up adding some pumpkins as well. When I was done decorating, I ended up with just some random pumpkins that I wasn't using, so I threw them into a bowl and put them on this shelf right here for my toddler to play with. I know he's gonna have a lot of fun being able to play with those pumpkins, and it's the perfect height for him to reach up and get one.
Friends, thank you so much for joining me for this fall clean and decorate. I really hope that you enjoyed the colors that I used and the way that the decor came out. I appreciate you being here. I hope that you'll subscribe before you leave and I hope I get to see you on next week's video. I love you guys, bye. Okay, so I'm just gonna start by getting out this Mrs. Meyers multi-purpose spray. This is in the geranium scent. And I like to use all-purpose cleaners when I'm decorating because it's just a lot quicker instead of trading out cleaners everywhere I go. So I'm starting here with my tiered tray and I just wanna get it all cleaned off and then I'm gonna play around with the decor. I picked up a couple of cute new pieces as you can see here and I'm trying to go for kind of grays and copper tones and then the traditional fall colors as well. And while I work on this, please let me know down in the comments what your number one favorite thing about fall is. So a lot of this decor um, I've had for a while and I just kind of trade it out from season to season as it fits and I try to keep as many neutral pieces as I can so that my decor is more interchangeable if that makes sense. So lots of whites and grays and coppers and blacks and wood tones and things like that. So I try to make my decor as versatile as possible. I thought this little house would be cute as a filler in the back and I just thought I'd kind of play around with putting some pumpkins and pine cones here in these little containers. If you're new to my channel today, I just wanna officially say welcome. I'm really glad you're here, and I hope that since you clicked on this video that you're a fellow fall lover just like me. I absolutely love fall. It's my favorite season, hands down. I love the colors, I love the weather, I love the activities, the pumpkin patches, the hay rides, the apple cider, I love it all. So hopefully you like fall too and we can enjoy the beginning of this beautiful season together. I'm here to inspire you, to be a friend to you, and I just love being a part of this community. And I'm telling you, we have one of the best on YouTube. So get involved in the comments, reach out to others. Everyone is so, so nice and warm and welcoming. And I'd love it if you're new here, if you would subscribe today and join my YouTube family. Lots more cleaning, decluttering, organizing, and decorating motivation coming up your way as we head into the holidays. So now that I have those two pieces decorated, I'm gonna go ahead and take a second to move all of this decor back into my garage where I store it. Now you guys are always hearing me talk about using cleaning as therapy and how if you're really stressed out, go ahead and clean your house a little bit. It really does make a difference. It can be a mood booster. Um, it can even help with anxiety and depression. I'm not claiming it's any kind of medical treatment for it, but I do think that it helps. But where does decorating fit in? That's the question. And in my opinion, decorating is like a totally optional 
separate thing. I think that for some people, it kind of stresses them out to decorate and having decorations out kind of feels like clutter to them. So in that case, I totally understand just skipping it all together. I think that the real therapy part has more to do with the cleaning and decluttering. I really think that those are the really important ones to get right. And then I think the decorating is, you know, some people are into it and some people aren't. But I have always loved it and it's always brought me a lot of joy. Let me know in the comments what kind of person you are. Does it bring you joy or does it kind of stress you out? No right or wrong answer. I'm just really curious. And now that my stove is all cleaned off, I'm gonna go ahead and light this Harvest Candle by Hearth and Hand from Target. I got this a couple years ago, and I really like it because it smells just like pumpkin pie, so it's like the perfect candle to light in your kitchen. Here in my little accent cabinet, I'm gonna take everything out just so I can get these shelves cleaned off. And then I'm gonna keep it really simple in here. Um, I'm gonna leave these cookbooks right here and just add a little cake stand. And then I'm gonna add a few fall touches in the bottom by changing out these green leaves for some wheat stems. And then I'm gonna add in a copper pitcher that I picked up at Target this year, as well as I had a little candle, but I ended up changing it to a pumpkin. So just a few little touches in here, nothing too crazy, but I do like to put some decor pieces in here since it's an open cabinet. Here on the side of my cabinet, I'm just adding a second smaller cutting board just to kind of have a layered look. And then I had a couple of leftover sprigs of these really pretty fall colors from Hobby Lobby. And so I just decided to kind of stick them up there for some extra color. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hang my wreath. This one is from Kirkland's this year. I really loved it. I just thought it was so simple and pretty and I loved um, the colors in it. And then I'm just adding my little typical towel that I always put. This one is gray and white striped and I keep links for pretty much all of these things in my description box. So if you're looking for anything today that you see that you like, just go ahead and check my description box and I'll have some links for you guys. Also, if you have any questions where I've gotten anything in my home, um, feel free to ask. I'm always happy to help you guys with that.
So here I'm just going to get my cake stand uh, cleaned off and get my soaps changed out for the season. I went ahead and got the apple cider scent this year from Target. So I'm gonna go ahead and put those out and just give this counter a good cleaning and you know, just finish off here in the kitchen. I'm almost done and then I'm gonna go ahead and polish off all of my stainless and I'm gonna get my floors swept and mopped because they are filthy. And this right here is actually my favorite fall decoration. My friend Christy made it for me and she made it out of wine corks and it's a little pumpkin and it's just so, so cute. So that is my all time favorite fall decoration and that's gonna go in my window. So here's a little shot of one of the stains on the floors. So as you can see, they really need a mopping. So I'll go ahead and grab out this Method Squirt and Mop in the Lemon Ginger scent and my Light and Easy Steam Mop and get to work. Stay tuned because we have so much more decorating to do. We're gonna go ahead and head into the dining room next and I'll do my fireplace and my dining table and my server and buffet and then we'll head into the living room and go ahead and decorate there as well. Okay, so the kitchen is all decorated and I love it so much. I love all the pops of orange against the white kitchen. And now here is the dining room. This is what it looks like. I've got everything kind of staged on my dining room table and this room definitely does not look like fall. So I'm gonna start by taking off this picture and putting up this comfy cozy together picture. This is something that I actually found on clearance at Hoppy Lobby in the spring section, which I thought was odd because it really looks a little bit more like fall to me. So I went ahead and put that above the buffet and I just think it looks nice with the black on black. I'm gonna go ahead and get this all cleaned off and then we're gonna have some fun with some pumpkins.
really like the way this little space turned out. I think it's just perfect. It's simple. And I really like to decorate in containers like this dough bowl or on tiered trays or on cutting boards. I like to use containers to hold my decor because it's so much easier to move when you need to clean. I really don't like to move a whole lot of things just to clean. That's kind of overwhelming to me. So I like to decorate kind of in groups and clusters and like have everything on a tray or everything on a cutting board or something like that. And so that dough bowl is gonna be really easy for me to move and clean. And here on these shelves, I really like to keep it pretty much the same and just change maybe one thing out per season. Um, it would kind of overwhelm me to have to redo these every season. So I'm really just gonna change out the green plant with a fall plant and I think that looks nice. And here I'm gonna change out these little navy and white striped pillows that I had for summer with these plaid, kind of wheat colored buffalo check pillows. And then I had this really pretty throw that I picked up at Target. I just thought it was so pretty. Um, and I tried to drape it over the chair and I liked it at first, but then I had this idea that I wanted a basket right here because there was a big hole at the bottom. So I decided to put the blanket in the basket and then add some more wheat stalks and I ended up adding a pumpkin as well. And I thought that looked really cute. Here on the mantle, I got this tricolor wreath at Hobby Lobby, so I'll go ahead and add that to my arch. And then I already had these black candlesticks, so I'll go ahead and add those on as well. And then I thought I'd do gray candles this year just to kind of really lean into that gray that I'm trying to weave in throughout my decor. I'm kind of obsessed with the way the gray looks with the fall colors. I just think it is so pretty and it's just really modern and different. So I also had some leftover wheat stalks from Hobby Lobby and I thought I'd try to maybe kind of jerry-rig them into like a garland of sorts, I guess. Um, I just kind of placed them as if they were a garland um, just to kind of fill it out a little bit before I add the pumpkins. So I think that turned out okay and I tried to hide the stems the best that I could. So, and if you're interested in any of this decor and where I got it, I did do a fall haul video. So go ahead and check my channel for that. And I let you know where I got, you know, all the different items. So here I'm just adding in some of these pumpkin picks from Hobby Lobby into those wheat stalks and just kind of, like I said, kind of using it as a garland, even though it's not. Down here on the hearth, I'm just keeping it pretty much the same. Um, this little white lantern pretty much stays there year round. And then I'm adding a wheat colored um, neutral throw blanket into this basket along with that same gray pillow that was already there. And then I thought I'd throw a couple little pumpkins into the lantern just to add a little bit of color and a fall touch. It also gives my little two-year-old Alex something to do because he likes to come over here and open the lantern and play with the pumpkins. Here on the server, I'm just sticking with this same wooden tray and I have this little mason 
croc from Kirkland's and some florals and then I put a couple of pumpkins and a candle. So again, everything is on this tray so that I can just pull it off and clean very easily. And my house is already starting to smell so, so good with all these candles lit. So I can't wait to do the living room so that the whole house will smell like fall. So here on the blanket ladder, I'm gonna add this rust colored throw blanket. It appears a little red on camera, but it's more like a rust color because I wanted this wreath to pop and it's just such a light color. And then over here, I'm just gonna add some extra pumpkins that I had left over um, for Alex to play with because I like to have little pieces that he can play with and that way it kind of distracts him from the stuff that I really don't want him to play with. He definitely loves to play with the pumpkins, so I want him to have his own pumpkins for sure. So I'm just adding some florals to my little white pitcher here on my table. And then I realized I was losing light. It was very dark. And so I went ahead and went to bed, woke up the next morning to start over. And I woke up just for some reason having to change out this mirror. I have no idea why, but I thought I need to change out that mirror to something more fall-like. It was kind of a beachy mirror with the weathered wood. And so I grabbed this black, framed round mirror and decided to put that one up and I like that one a little bit better. So here I am just kind of finishing off where I left off. I'm getting this room all vacuumed so that I can move on into my living room. So I'm really happy with the way this space turned out. I think it's really simple and pretty. I love the deep tones. I love the lighter tones. I love how they all play together. I love the grays. Uh, the rug is empty because normally my son has his train table right there, but we had him playing in his room while I was decorating, so he had his table. And here in the living room, I'm just gonna go ahead and start by cleaning off my coffee table so that I can put some decor on top. I'm gonna switch out these pillow covers from something very summery to something a little more fall friendly. These are the plaid flannel ones from Kirkland's and they have the cute little fringe. So I think they'll be perfect since I'm looking to add more grays. I've had them for a few years now and I like to change out pillow covers for two reasons. The first is that it's a lot less expensive and the second is that it's a lot easier to store. I don't have to store a million different pillows. I mostly just store the pillow covers. So I'm gonna go ahead and add those on and then I have this cute little Hello Pumpkin pillow that I picked up at Kirkland's as well and that's going in the middle. On top of the coffee table, I just have my regular basket that you guys see all the time. And then I'm adding this gray pitcher that I've had for several years. I think it's from Hobby Lobby. And then just more of these golden florals. And then a vintage C.S. Lewis book from my grandfather is going under the candle, as well as a couple of white pumpkins. So I really think that that turned out really pretty and simple and I really like the way the grays are playing with the yellows and the oranges and all the golden colors of fall. Mm -hmm. 
Here on the TV stand, it's nothing exciting. I always just do the exact same thing. I put some type of little garland around here and I tie the cords around the back of the TV. And if I do anything else, then my kids would definitely complain that I'm blocking the TV signal. So I have to be really careful. And it actually took me this long to realize that I had the whole thing upside down and I needed to fix it. Over here on the blanket ladder, I'm gonna go ahead and just add this wreath with more of those beautiful golden shades against the gray. And then I wanted to take down this sign and put up my brand new sign that you guys saw in my fall haul. So this Bible verse is just such a comfort for me and I wanna look at it every single day. So that's going in my mom corner. You guys know I love my mom corner. That's where I have my coffee every morning and have my little quiet time and my good start to my day. And here I'm just adding back my journal and my Bible and then another one of these cute little fall plants from Kirkland's as well as a candle. This is one of the homemade candles that I bought from Etsy and it's pumpkin chai. So this one is amazing. It smells really good in here now and my mom corner is all decked out and ready to go. Friends, thank you so much for hanging out with me as I got my house all ready for fall. I really hope that you enjoyed it and that it gave you some fall inspiration if you haven't decorated yet, or maybe it just provided something relaxing for you to watch. And I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That really helps my channel a lot. And if you're not subscribed, please make sure that you're subscribed. It's completely free and it assures that I'll get to see you on the next video. Hey friends, and welcome back to Cleaning Therapy. I'm Jenny, if you're new here. And today we're gonna be working in this dining room fireplace seating area combo. This is kind of a long room and I've got it all cleared off so that I can do some cleaning here with my Mrs. Myers all purpose spray before I get the decorating done. This room was actually quite dusty so I'm going in with my feather duster before I put anything wet on it. I had been working on a board and batten project in the other room so if you haven't seen that video definitely go check it out but it did create a lot of dust that kind of floated throughout the house so I want to get everything dusted off and cleaned off here with my microfiber towel and my all-purpose spray. Here on the buffet, I'm just gonna start by adding this cake stand and I'll just stack a couple of plates here as well as a white pumpkin. And then I'm adding this white pitcher with these caramel colored flowers. I just think they're so pretty. So I'm using almost all decor that I've already had from past years um, for this video as well as my other fall decorating videos this year. But I'll still go ahead and link everything in my description box in case you're looking for something specific. So here on my little wall shelves, again, I just like to keep this pretty simple and neutral, and then I'm adding just some touches of gray and a little white pumpkin on each shelf just to kind of usher in the fall. I really like keeping things pretty much the same in my home um, throughout the seasons, and then I'll add in a couple of touches. I found this little wooden gavel at a thrift shop, and I thought it was so cute, so I picked that up. I'm always on the search for neutral decor that I can really keep up for any season, and that's really the way I like to do it, is I'll tend to do wood tones, whites, maybe grays, and then just whatever color I'm ready for for the season. So in this case, I've got white pumpkins, I've got some pops of orange, and then I've also even got a green pumpkin, which I thought was really pretty. So here's how the shelves came out. Again, very similar to how they look throughout the year, but just with a little extra touch for fall.
Over here on this side, I'll go ahead and get these cleaned off as well. And I do something really similar on this side so that the shelves are kind of complementary to one another. Let me know in the comments if you've started decorating your dining space yet and how it's coming along. I'd love to know where you like to shop for decor and what kind of look you're putting together in your space. One of my favorite things about fall is just adding warm touches to the house. I do have cooler toned gray walls and so I just love adding warmth with wood tones and baskets and some of the orangey, burnt orange, golden tones of fall. I just find that so cozy and comforting as we enter into the cooler months and all of the holidays. Now I'm just changing out my pillow covers to the warmer tone Buffalo check. I had stripes for the summer and I think this will be perfect for the fall. I keep these up in the closet and I just change them out pretty much every fall. These are the pillow covers that I like to use. They're really neutral and warm and I really like them. And then I'm going in and cleaning off my dining room table, which was also really dirty. It's hard to see, but there was a lot of dried Play-Doh and just I don't know, crumbs from eating and things like that. So I wanted to give these chairs a good deep clean as well. I'm really excited because here in Louisiana, you know, fall doesn't come very early. We definitely have to wait our turn to get those cooler temps, but we are projected to get a cool front on Tuesday. So as I'm doing this voiceover, it is Monday. So that means tomorrow we really could have some cooler weather, maybe temps in the 60s, and I will take that. I am so excited. I know the kids will be too. We've been doing some trips to the park and we have just been sweating it out. So I know it's gonna be so great just to have those cooler temps. But here on the table, I'm just gonna add this little circular wicker basket and a white pitcher with some oat stems and then a little copper pot that I found thrifting last year. I'll add this little white pitcher as well, just to kind of round out the look. And then I thought I'd add a candle right here on top of the Buffalo check napkin. I love decorating with trays because it's so easy to move when it's time to eat if you wanna clear the table. Now we're moving on to the fireplace seating area. This has become my favorite place to read in the morning with my coffee. And then sometimes I'll even sneak another session here in the afternoon, but I'm adding this cute throw that is in a nice neutral color that I can use year round. And I love how it warms up the white rockers. And then I'm adding in the Buffalo pillow covers as well. And now that we've got this table cleaned off, I'll go ahead and add another pitcher with those same caramel colored flowers and another candle. I think this candle is from Tuesday morning and it's white, but it's, I think the scent is white pumpkin. So it's a really nice fall scent. And now we have this seating area all cozy and ready for those early fall mornings. I'm going in with the Method Glass Cleaner in the Mint scent on this mirror that I have above the server. And this was also just incredibly dusty. You can kind of see the dust making little patterns on the server. So I'll get that cleaned off and sprayed down. And then we'll keep it pretty simple here on the server. I like to decorate the fireplace and the mantle and I like that to be more the focal point. So we'll add a few fall touches over here when I'm finished cleaning. Again, just using what I already have, I'm adding this tobacco basket and then a couple of old books. And then I did find this recently thrifting, I think over the summer, 
and it's just a really pretty little pitcher, I guess. It's very small. I thought it was brass at first, but it's actually copper. So, and then I'm adding just a bowl of pine cones and a couple of candlesticks. Now it's time to hang my wreath, so I'm getting my little step ladder. And I really can't remember exactly where I found this wreath, but it may have been Kirkland's from a couple of years ago. But I really like it, especially since it's so simple and it has all of my favorite fall colors in there. I'm starting here on the mantel by adding these darker wood candlesticks. I really like the contrast between the candlesticks and the white mantel. And a book, and then a pale gray vase with some more dried florals and of course a couple of pumpkins. Sorry the footage was a little blurry here, I'm not sure what happened. And then I'm finishing it off with a candle, again from Walmart, this is the pumpkin candle. But I love the way this mantle came out, I just think it's simple but cozy, and it's just the perfect amount for me as far as fall touches go. Down in the hearth area was looking pretty dirty from all the decorating. There was like parts of the wreath that had fallen off. So I'll go ahead and sweep that off real quick. And then I'll also give it a clean with my all purpose spray before I add any decor down here. Down here, I'm just propping up a basket with a large book, and then I've got a cozy blanket inside and a cute little plant stand that I'll add this nice copper kettle to. This is a new thrift store find, maybe about a month ago. I found this over in Daphne, Alabama at the Antique Mall. I just love it. Took my son over there because he has been loving going antiquing with me. He's almost 14 and we had a lot of fun together. He found some really cool Civil War memorabilia and I found this copper kettle, so I couldn't pass it up. It was such a steal and I was just so happy with it. I just think it's so pretty. And copper is always something I like to pull out in the fall time. I just love the warm tones. And I added a large green pumpkin and a medium sized white pumpkin. And I really like the way this turned out. Guys, I just think this is so cozy and warm and it just makes my heart really happy. Now I just wanna get these blinds dusted off while I've got my duster out. And it's not a deep clean, but I just wanted to get some of that dust again from just the sheetrock dust floating around the house while I did the board and batten. I find everything to be a little bit dustier than it usually is. And now I'm gonna give this area rug a vacuum and then we'll get these floors all swept and mopped. As you saw at the start of this video, I had a clean slate. I had taken everything down before I put anything back up. And I would really encourage you, if you've never tried that before, try it. Just try taking everything down before you clean. Put it in a different room, put it in your bedroom or the garage or the laundry room, wherever you can fit it. And just start with a clean slate and see how that makes you feel. I feel like we all have different levels of stuff that we can have out in our house. 
without it negatively affecting our mental health or our stress levels. We all have that sweet spot that we need to get to. For some, it will be more decor and more things out, and for others, it will be less. And that's okay, everybody's different, but the only way to really find out what works for you is to start with that clean slate and then add in layers and build as you go and then stop when it's enough. And I would just encourage you to try that this season and just see where it goes. You can start adding in things. You can always add more. Um, sometimes less is more and you really don't need as much as you thought you would need. Or you might wanna try a little challenge like I did this year to use what you already have and create a new look with the same decor. I actually found that to be fun this year because I used the same decor, but I really think that this look is different from past years. So I thought that was kind of a fun challenge. But whatever you're doing this year, I just hope you're having fun with it. I hope it's bringing you joy, and I hope that you're finding your space to be clean and calm for you and your family. And that it's a place that you guys can come to rest and recuperate and get ready for a new season. Friends, thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I always appreciate you taking time out of your day to come hang out with me here on the channel. I hope that you were inspired to get some fall decorating done in your home and that this video brought you some peace and calm in your busy day. Don't forget to come over to Instagram and follow me at Jenny Teal. I'd love for us to follow each other and become friends over there as well. And remember, no matter what's going on in your life or what struggles you're facing, you can always come over here and we can clean our way to calm together. I love you, friends, and I will see you next week with a new video. Hey, friends, welcome back to Cleaning Therapy. My name is Jenny, if you're new here. And today, I'm so excited to get this kitchen all cleaned up and decorated for fall. I've got a sink full of dishes and lots of cleaning to do before I can decorate for fall. So I'm just going to start here with my Mrs. Meyers all-purpose spray and the apple cider scent and I'll go ahead and wet my microfiber cloth and get to cleaning. As I'm recording this voiceover, today is September 1st and I could not be more excited. It's kind of the official first month of fall and I'm so excited and grateful. I really will be happy when the cooler weather gets here, but for now I will be perfectly happy just bringing fall into my home through some decor touches. And of course, things like pumpkin bread. This is so delicious, guys. So if you like the pumpkin loaf at Starbucks, then I think you will like this recipe. It's a good all from scratch homemade recipe by Amy Roloff. I will usually kind of binge watch Little People Big World in the fall season. That's one of my fall shows because of pumpkin season and all of the fun fall things they do on the show. But I'll link her recipe in my description box in case you'd like to try it. And I'm just gonna move my way over here from left to right and clean off my kitchen counters as well as my backsplash. In today's video, we've got lots planned. I'll be deep cleaning the kitchen and then I'll be putting out my fall decorations. And then at the end, I'm gonna try to make my own DIY soy candle. So that was a really fun process, just learning the ins and outs of that and how it all comes together. And I really had fun learning about that. So definitely stay tuned if you want to kind of see that in action and maybe try it yourself. Let me know in the comments if you've ever tried to make your own candle. As you can see, I've got a lot of my decor pulled off so that I can just clean. I really just have a couple of neutral pieces up that I will be adding some fall decor to. And I was really wanting to shop my home this year. I really didn't want to go out and buy a bunch of decorations. I feel like when you're on YouTube, it's been you know a couple years now for me. It'll be three years next month. And so I do feel like I've built up quite enough of a stash to be able to shop my home each year and not really have to purchase much. So that is definitely a good thing. It's a lot of fun just to try to get creative and use pieces in new and different ways. So let me know in the comments if you've started decorating for fall yet and if you have any kind of theme or colors you want to try to go with I would love to hear about it mm -hmm. 
I would like to kindly thank BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. If there's something interfering with your happiness or something preventing you from achieving your goals, such as difficult life circumstances or anything that's just holding you back, BetterHelp can assess your needs and match you with your own licensed professional therapist. You can start communicating within 48 hours. It's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, but it is professional therapy done securely online. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You'll also get timely and thoughtful responses, and you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room as with traditional therapy. Visit BetterHelp.com, that's Better H-E-L-P, and join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. Cleaning Therapy viewers will get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash Cleaning Therapy. Everything will be linked in my description box. And thank you so much again to BetterHelp for sponsoring today's video. To clean my cabinets today, I'm gonna to go ahead and get my ivory dish soap and just a wet microfiber cloth, and I'll go ahead and get these cleaned. I'm gonna start with the top cabinets, and then I'll move my way down to the bottom cabinets. One thing's for sure, white cabinets are so unforgiving. You really do see everything on them, just any little bit of dust or you know food stains especially will show up so much on these cabinets. But I really don't regret painting them this color. I really think that based on the color I had before, which was a very bright orangey wood tone, I really feel like this just opened up my kitchen, it brightened it up, it made it feel so much bigger. I mean, when I go back and look at the video, it is insane how different my kitchen looked just from the before and the after. It looks like twice as big. So I totally like it. It's cheerful, it's welcoming, and it's really just the perfect backdrop for decor because all of it kind of pops against the white. So I'm really happy that I painted these cabinets. I guess it's been two and a half years now. I'm trying to think because I think it was two years in the spring. Each year I'll just go in and do a little touch up painting. I just do that with my spring cleaning. And so far that's been working really well and then I'll just reseal it with the sealer. Um, and it usually will last me another year. So a little bit of upkeep with these, but for the price I paid compared to hiring someone to do it, it was totally worth it. It was like $300 to paint my whole kitchen and put the hardware on. So I know I saved a ton of money and I don't mind doing the touch-ups, but they do need to be cleaned a little more frequently. I probably clean them about every three months, but they really probably should be cleaned every month. Now I'm gonna unlid this dishwasher so that I can get it loaded back up with this massive amount of dishes. So we had my family over last night, um, like multiple family members, and we used a lot of dishes. So um, my daughter is in charge of doing dishes and she's not feeling well, so she didn't do the dishes last night. She just kind of went to bed early and I told her not to worry about it, that I would do it the next day. But I'm gonna go ahead and get all this put away and then we'll get this dishwasher loaded right back up. 
Just like the laundry, I feel like the dishes are always going. There's always dishes going. There's always laundry going. And the secret is just to keep going and stay on top of it so it doesn't become like my sink looks right now. Let me know in the comments if you have any secrets for that, tips and tricks. I do a load a day as far as laundry goes. We have five people in our household. So Monday through Friday, each person has a day. And then on the weekends, I do towels and sheets. For dishes, we just load it up every night after dinner and then I unload it the next morning. So that is our routine and our schedule, but of course it's never perfect and so there are those situations where it doesn't get done. If you're new here today, I just want to officially say welcome. My name is Jenny and I am just so glad that you're here and that you took time out of your busy schedule to come hang out with me on my channel. I really do appreciate that. So thank you so much. Um, I live here in Southern Louisiana. I was born and raised in Metairie and I do have three children, Noel, Nathan, and Alex. So they are two teens and a toddler. They're all about to have birthdays next month. And Noel will be 17, Nathan will be 14, and Alex will be four. So that is the parenting stage I'm in. It's kind of like a couple different stages. Noel just got her first job, she's driving, Nathan is a middle schooler, and Alex just started pre-K three. So let me know in the comments a little bit about yourself, if you're new, your name, where you're from, how many kids you have, whatever you're comfortable sharing. I love to get to know you and I hope you'll subscribe today and join my YouTube family. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna use the Mrs. Myers baking soda cream cleanser for my stovetop today. I love to use this on my stovetop as well as inside of my sink. Another one that works really well is Barkeeper's Friend. So sometimes I'll go back and forth between those two, but right now I've really been enjoying this one. I think it smells really good and fresh. I feel like I'm really trying to earn my decorating in this video. I like to deep clean a little bit before I put out decorations because I feel like once everything's out and looking all festive and fall-like, I'm not as likely to like move it and do any deep cleaning. I'll still of course do all my weekly cleaning and keep things up, but it is a little bit harder to deep clean once you've got the decorations up. So I do tend to try to do a little bit deeper clean before I decorate for the seasons. Not quite as deep as a spring clean, but definitely a little bit deeper than my normal weekly cleans. I wanted to let you guys know that I do have free cleaning printables over on my website, cleanyourwaytocalm.com. And one day I will get around to uh, writing a little blog over there. I really hope to do that or creating maybe a monthly newsletter. But for now, I do have the free printables if you wanna check that out. You can also follow me on Instagram at Jenny Teal. And I'd love for you to follow me over there and we can follow each other and become friends.
Now it's time to clean the sink. Again, I'll use the Mrs. Myers Cream Cleanser, and I also have this cute little wooden scrubbing brush that I picked up on Amazon. And at first I thought I just might use it for decor, just as a cute kitchen decor piece, but it actually works really well, so I was just scrubbing at that sink, and it was getting in all the little corners and the rounded parts, and I was actually really impressed with it. So I'll go ahead and put it in my quick links for you guys in my description box. Now I'm just going to add some orange essential oils to my garbage disposal and go ahead and run it and get that all nice and freshened up and then after we get this counter all wiped down it will finally be time for decorating. Okay, I'll start on this side of the kitchen by this lamp and this little framed art piece I found at Hobby Lobby. And it's pretty neutral, so I think you could use it for multiple seasons, but I did think it had some nice warm tones for fall. And then I have this cute little copper pot, I guess it's like a little melting pot, that I found thrifting and I just decided to put a candle in it and use it like a candle holder and I thought that was a cute little addition to this tray. And to finish it off, I'll add a little white pumpkin nestled right there in between all three pieces. So I thought this was super simple yet cozy. I really like having a lamp on in the kitchen. It's a really warm and welcome glow when I come to make my coffee in the morning. Over here by the mixer, I thought I would keep it really simple and just do a cookbook and some pumpkins. And I chose this half-baked harvest cookbook because I just thought it had a really nice fall look. Over here in my accent cabinet, I found another little copper pot, this time at Goodwill. It was only $2 and I think it is so cute. It's got cute little handles on it. It's definitely vintage and you can't beat $2. And then by my rolling pins, I just added a little pumpkin inside of a cloche and a candle holder with a pumpkin and another little pumpkin beside it. So I believe the cloche might be from Amazon and then the pumpkins are from Hobby Lobby. Now on this hook on the side of my cabinet, I'll go ahead and add a small cutting board and then I wanted to hang these dried florals from Hobby Lobby. I just thought that would be a nice touch and so I'm just looping the ribbon and just hanging them here layered on top of the cutting board. Underneath, I'm adding a white pitcher with some of these caramel cone flowers. These are from Hobby Lobby and then a couple of more pumpkins. This is the cutest little wine cork pumpkin and I always try to find a place each year for it to go in my kitchen. This year it's going to the right in my window. It's from a good friend of mine and I love it. And over here on the pantry door, I'm just gonna hang some more of the caramel cone flowers in a little hanging basket. Now that the decorations are out, I think it's time for a little DIY. So I have some supplies here to make a homemade soy candle. I have this Nature's Oil Autumn Harvest Fragrance Oil. By the way, it smells amazing. And then I have 
some soy candle flakes, and this little candle pouring pitcher. I also have a burnt orange crayon, just to kind of give it a little bit of color. I definitely would need more than one crayon uh, for the two candles I'm making, but I didn't know that at the time, so my candle came out a little bit light in color, so if you want yours to be darker, I would definitely add more crayons. And now I'm just gonna place the wicks, and then we will get to making the candles. All of the candle supplies will be listed in my description box under quick links. So here I have a double boiler going on. I have this hooked over my pot with a few inches of water and then once it all melted down I added in my crayon and then you're going to want to check the temperature of your wax and when it's at 185 you can go ahead and add your fragrance. This has something to do with how the candle will actually smell once it cures. So adding it at 185 is supposed to be the key to that. So I'm just stirring that in and then I have to let the temperature come back down to 135 before I can pour. Okay, so I'm moving on to other tasks while my candles cure. I actually only let my candles cure for about 24 hours before I showed the footage of me lighting them, but I looked it up later and apparently you're supposed to let them cure for about three days before lighting them, so I didn't realize that, but mine worked out just fine. They lit just fine and they smell amazing, and I will definitely show you what they look like as soon as I finish mopping the floors. But these floors were just so dirty. They were like really filthy from the baking, the decorating, the candle making, you name it. So they were just so dirty and I had to go ahead and mop them before I went to bed. Okay, so it is the next day and I'm just lighting this candle and boy does it smell so, so good. I'm gonna go ahead and light my other candle just so we can set a mood here as we close out this video. I love how cozy and warm my kitchen is for fall. It is one of my favorite places in our home and I'm so glad that you joined me for this kitchen clean and decorate. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did and remember no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what you're going through, you can always come over here, hang out with me and we can clean our way to calm together. I love you guys and I'll see you next week with another fall decorating video. And I'm just Bye. using the Mrs. Meyers apple cider vinegar multi-purpose spray to clean off my coffee table and I'll get this room cleaned and decorated. It was a little bit of dust kicked up from this project, so I just want to make sure and get everything dusted off and the carpet vacuumed. Okay.
you're new to my channel today, I just want to officially say welcome. I'm really glad you're here. I hope you're enjoying today's video. Here on my channel, I do cleaning, decorating, decluttering, organizing, just all the things that bring together a clean and calm space. And that's what I like to focus on here in my channel. So a decluttered and clean space, good for our mental health, good for our well-being, and just enjoyable to be in. So if you like relaxing cleaning videos that kind of inspire you to achieve the same in your home, please join my YouTube family. I would love to see you on the next video. Here on the coffee table, again, just shopping from my home, I have a wooden tray and a pitcher of fall florals. These are from Hobby Lobby. And the pitcher and the tray just happen to be from Hobby Lobby as well. And then I'm just gonna take an old vintage book that I got from my grandfather's house after he passed away and a really nice fall candle. This is actually from Walmart. And one thing I like to do is just buy Walmart candles and then just peel the labels off. And that way they have like a little more neutral look. But this one smells really nice and I think it looks really nice here in the family room. I also wanted to add in a couple of Buffalo Check pillow covers that I keep on hand. And I'll use these pretty much year round, but I feel like it warms up the space with those gray tones. I think it brings in some of the warm tones. And now I'm gonna go ahead and clean off my TV and this TV stand and get some decorations on here as well. This garland, I really like, but I've had it for at least 10 years. It's kind of on its last leg, but I still really like it, and I really like using it each fall. It just, I don't know, it's, I still like it. It hides the cords, it does the job, and I like the colors, so I just keep using it. So now I'm just gonna give this floor a little sweep, trying to get a little bit under the furniture to gather some of the dust that's come about from my project. It kind of floats around, so again, I had to sweep a couple of times, but then I looked up and noticed kind of a blank wall here in the family room. So I went in my bedroom and picked out this blanket ladder, brought it out here to try, and then I had this blanket in storage from fall, and I had picked this up at Target maybe last year or the year before, and I just thought it added a really nice cozy touch in here. And then here for this little accent chair, I'm just gonna put a little pillow Hello on here and just keep it simple. These little pumpkin baskets here, I will never part with. I just know that I'm gonna hold on to them. Noelle, my 16 year old, used to play with them when she was really little, like two or three years old. I would fill them with pumpkins and just let her play with them. And now Alex is doing the same thing, our three year old. He now has pumpkins to play with in the family room and so it's just such a joy for me to watch. I can even imagine my grandkids playing with them one day. Friends, thank you for joining me while I created a little board and batten accent wall and decorated my family room for fall. Let me know in the comments if you've started decorating for fall yet. Thank you again for being here. I always appreciate each and every one of you. I hope you're doing well, and I hope that whatever you're going through in life, that you always know that you can come over here and hang out with me, and we can clean our way to calm together. I love you, and I'll see you next week for episode two.